Well, we continue to practice social distancing. So Dr. Tiffany Minini is joining us by Skype for today's pet advice. Good morning. Good morning. Well, many people enjoy having rabbits as pets, but what are some considerations that you should have before bringing in a rabbit into your family? There's a lot of considerations. We know that Easter's coming, there's all these adorable rabbits that are gonna be available, but they are a unique animal and they do have unique needs. And so uh, something really to think about because they can be a long-term commitment, eight to 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, you really have to plan ahead before you decide to bring a rabbit into your family. Well, what about some of the, uh, the needs that may differ from cats and dogs? I think rabbits, they're such a prey species that they still will hide illness to such a degree that you may not know that your rabbit is sick unless you're paying very, very close attention. They have uh, this unique gastrointestinal tract where they need to constantly be eating. They can end up with nutritional imbalances and different diseases if their specific diet needs aren't met. And they also constantly are growing their teeth and sometimes they have different dental disease issues that can require a lot of care and sometimes even needing general anesthesia for that. Well, we've all heard the phrase multiplying like rabbits. Uh, do they need to be spayed and neutered like our cats and dogs? It's highly recommended to spay and neuter your rabbits because yes, they do reproduce prolifically. Uh, the other issues uh, associated with intact rabbits is that they can have a lot of, of reproductive disease. Female rabbits, in fact, by the age of two, 66% have some form of reproductive disease. And by three years of age, that's up to 80%. So there's definitely a lot of health benefits to getting your pet sterilized. As far as rabbit behavior, uh, they will become aggressive, uh, sometimes if intact, and they'll often spray urine too. So there's a lot of behavioral and health benefits that come Come from having your pet sterilized. Well, some people like to have their rabbits indoors as an indoor pet. Uh, can they be litter box trained? They can. Rabbits are very smart um, and many adapt really well to litter box training. So they can make great indoor pets. Uh, just have to be accommodating, continuing to work with them and their unique needs. Okay, so it sounds like just do your research before you decide to bring a <laughs> rabbit into your home, but Overall, they can make good pets. They can. They have a lot of personality and can be a lot of fun. All right. Well, Dr. Mineni, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. And if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, head over to universityvetcare.com.